<clears throat> hey guys, Grandma's Marathon Training Day 109. Um, you know, I can't, kind of came to the conclusion that anything that I do now until the race <clears throat> is not really going to get me ready for the race. Honestly, my fitness right now is good. Um, Hay's in the barn, so I'm going to do more active rest. So, like, today I am... Um, not running tomorrow I might run a little or cycle and then um, the rest of the week I'm just gonna be doing short little jogs off or running or excuse me cycling so kind of that's the plan today's a completely off day um, but like I said I'm not gonna get any endurance back or speed back in these next two weeks so I decided hey let's just do, let's just do a lot of active rest um, and, and, and try to get as healthy as I possibly can. So when I told the line at grandma's, um, I can at least help one of my training partners, um, get their goal of qualifying for Boston. So, um, I know I'm not going to be a hundred percent healthy when I told the line at grandma's. Um, last time I ran grandma's, I ran a 340 and I wasn't healthy then. Um, my longest run going up to that race was about eight miles um you know this time it's a little bit better my longest has been 13 um i'm gonna try to run about a, an hour and a half on saturday and see how that goes um but this is as ready as i'm gonna get i'll probably toe the line 70 percent healthy 75 percent healthy um which is probably the most unhealthy i've ever been towing a line um, but it's not going to be the most unprepared I've ever been towing the line. So that gives me a little bit of confidence. Um, thanks for watching today, guys. I'll keep you posted. Um, gotta stay optimistic. Gotta say, stay honest with myself and say, hey, the work that I've done previous to me realizing I had a, an injury issue has worked and it's been good and, um, I think my body's ready to tackle 26.2 miles. I just don't know how fast. If I can t get in the finish line under 340, I think it's a, a very successful day. Um, if I can get one of my training partners in, in Boston qualifying time, I'm going to be ecstatic. So right now, sub three is out the window. Not going to happen. That's the reality. I hate saying that, but sometimes you gotta. Um... So, I don't know what my plans are for after the race, but I know I'm going to take a few weeks off and try to get healthy, 100% healthy, and then start up again training for some race, but I don't know. Obviously, I'll let you guys know what race that is um, after, and, and I've really, so far, I've enjoyed this experience tremendously. I've enjoyed your comments. I've enjoyed people um, talking to me about my videos, and, and, and it's just been really cool, and you guys are really inspiring, and... Um, I'm definitely going to do this again, and hopefully the next time I train for long distance, whether it be a triathlon or a marathon, um, I can be go, 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 going and 100% healthy when I get to my next race. And um, I think I still have about three years to crack that sub-three-hour barrier, so thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.